Mm. Hello everybody, this is teacher Prosy again. Last time I was here, we did finding a num missing number in the box. But today, we are going to learn how to divide. Our lesson is about division. And when we are dividing, this is the sign for division. So, what does it mean? Division is the same as sharing. So, when we learn division, we learn how to share, we learn how to be kind, we learn how to care for our friends. So, we are going to begin with our smallest number. So, if you have zero, divide, this is our sign, I've told you, divide by two. That means that you have nothing and you have two people to give. So, I have my two people here. I have this friend of mine. Uh, uh, and I also have this friend of mine. But I have to give them something. But when you look, I have zero. In my hands, I have nothing. Are they going to get anything? No, I have nothing to give her and I have nothing to give her. So they don't get anything. What does it mean? It means that zero divided by two or zero divided by any number, the answer is zero. Why? There is nothing that you have to give them. So that is our first one. Then, another number that disturbs us is when you have one ball, still I'm going to divide it by two. I have one ball and they are telling me to divide between two girls. I have my two girls here. You see them? They are so beautiful and smiling because they, have, they want to get something from me. So, I have got one piece of chalk. There are also teachers like me, okay? So, they need chalk to go and teach. So, I have only one piece of chalk and this is a hole. So, if I need to give to these two, what am I going to do? Remember, you have to be fair. What you give to this one is what you give to this one. Um, so, I am going to break this piece of chalk into two pieces. When I break it, I break, you see? So, I've got one part and another part. So, when you cut a wall into two equal pieces, we call it a half. I understand that you all know. So, I am going to give one half to this friend of mine and another half to this friend of mine. Do you see them smiling? That's wonderful. It's because they have got something. So when I get one more and I divide it by two, my answer is going to be a half. Is that clear to everyone? Yes, I know I have a very bright class. So let us go on. This is our example number one. This is two. What are we doing? We are dividing. In dividing, when you're dividing, you have to be fair. What you do for this friend of mine and this friend of mine should be the same. So we are going to go down to example number three. A good two divided by two. So this time, what am I going to give them? I have got my markers here and I have two markers. I have got two markers and I have two people that I am going to give. Are we together? Yes, I know you're very good children, you're ever attentive. So I have two markers and I have two people to give. This is Christine and this is Juliet. Good. So, what you do for Christine is what you're going to do for Juliet. So, I have got to. Don't say, I love Christine so much, so I'm going to first give her. No. 
you have to count when you're giving. So I have to. I'm going to divide the two markers between Christine and Juliet. So we go one, two. You see, I am left with nothing in my hands. And when I look at them, each one has got what? Each one has got one marker. Put your marker up. Good. And she's also putting one. That means that I'm fair. So two divided by two, the answer is one. Uh, thank you, my good friends. Let us continue. I know everyone is attentive and you're following. Thank you, Christine, my dear. Uh -huh. So, we are still proceeding. Let us get example number four. So if we have example number four, this time I don't have anyone to give. So I'm going to get four divided by two. Uh, four divided by two, when we look here, in division, you look at the first number. The first number gives you the number of objects that you're going to give out. And then the second number gives you the number of people, animals, villages, schools that you're going to give to. Is that clear to everyone? Yes. So, you look at the first number which is 4 and then go to number 2. What are we going to do? We are going to draw balls or faces. Let us say these are beautiful girls. Okay? So, these beautiful girls are going to get four sweets. Let me assume that these are sweets. So, what are we going to do? We are going to give the four sweets to these two beautiful girls. So, you're going to get the four sweets and then you count until when you complete, you, when, until when you completely give the four sweets to the two girls. We go. Um, one, two, three, four. Very good. So after that, you're going to circle one, one side. So count and see what each one has got. One, two. Write it down and also take it to the equal signs. So you have divided four by two. Is that clear to everyone? Yes. What we learn from this? Division teaches us to be fair. You don't have to take sides. What you do for one person, you also do it for another one. Like, don't say, no, I love so and so, so much, so I'm first giving this one, then I will come back to the other one. So let us go to our next example. Our next example, I have six. It's not that we are going to be dividing by two by two. So we have to change. I have six divided by three. So again, you're going to look at the two numbers. The first one is the bigger number and the second one is the small number. So what does it mean? We look at the second number. I've told you that the second number this is the number of people, animals, villages, schools that you're going to give. So in that case, I have got three. I'm going to call these ones my schools. So we go one, two, three. So what are we giving to schools? Let us give them children. So what are we going to do? We look at our first number, our first number, which is six. So we are going to give children. Let us give children, because schools need children, not so? Yes. So we go. We are going to count till when we come to six. Don't say, no, I love this school so much, so I'm first giving this one. When it's done, then I'll go to the other schools. No. What we do for others, we should also do it for everyone. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Wonderful. So we have divided equally. After that, you're going to circle one side. 
and see what has each school got. So we have one, two. That is two. So two becomes our answer. So that means that you have divided equally and nobody is going to feel bad and everyone you're going to be loved by people because you do your things equally. You don't take sides. So our last example about this. I have 12 divided by 3. I've told you that the first number is the number of objects, number of items that you're giving out. The second number is the number of boys, number of girls that you're going to give to. What are you giving them? You're giving them 12, let us say, apples. If these are my apples, I have got 12 apples and I have got three handsome boys. So, we draw balls for the small number. We draw balls for the boys that you've got. So, I have my handsome boys here. And there are three boys with beautiful eyes and smiling widely. Okay? So, they are smiling because they are going to get something. So, let us divide 12 between three boys. Let us divide 12 among three boys. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then I take one side and then I count 1, 2, 3, Four. So each one has got four. Then I put my four up there. And when you're dividing, please don't squeeze. Don't put the boys together. Don't draw the sticks on each other. Make sure you separate them very well for you to see. Them. Is that clear to everyone? Yes. Now, this is our sign for division. They can also give you a word problem. When it comes to word problem, it's the same thing, but they just put the numbers in words. For example, they can ask you to, this is going to be 7, share 15 oranges equally. So let us read that question there. That question is telling us to share 15 oranges equally among five girls. You see, they are even putting the one equally. So we have to divide these 15 oranges <coughs> sorry, equally among five girls. So before you do anything, First, get the numbers and write the statement. We say that the first number is the number of items, objects that you're going to give. In that case, we have got 15 oranges. So I'm going to write my 15 oranges and here I see share. So share, I've told you, is the same as divide. So I am going to put the division sign and then I put the five girls. Is that clear to everyone? Yes. So after that, what are you going to draw? To do? You're going to draw five beautiful girls. And we are only drawing the faces. So one, two, three, and five. Good. So let us put the beautiful eyes. You know, girls are so beautiful and they are ever smiling. Ever smiling. So those are the five girls that are going to get the oranges. I told you, you have to be fair, you don't take sides. What you do for this girl, do it for the another one and for all the girls. So let us divide the 15 oranges among five girls. We go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You count until when you're done with the, with the whole number. So after dividing, you're going to take one side and see what each girl has got. So what has everyone got? Let us count and see. One, two, three. So we write three down and we also write it up. Then we go back to the question. What was the question saying? Share 15 oranges equally among five girls. So what is going to be your final answer? You're going to write, you're going to write, sorry, uh, this sign means there are four. Each girl, each girl gets, um, each girl gets, a moment please, each girl gets three oranges. So when the teacher gets this, um, this is an answer from a very bright girl or boy. After showing your working, calm down. You know what you're giving out. Write your final sentence, each girl gets three oranges. I know that everyone has bought the division part. So, Next time, I'll give you another sign and then we continue to divide numbers. So, this is going to be our activity. <coughs> so, number one, you have divide, divide, so A, we are dividing 20 by two please don't forget to draw beautiful faces don't forget to draw the dots remember i told you the first number gives us what we are giving out the second number this is the number of people animals that you're giving to so this is our first number b we are going to divide four by two and c we shall divide 6 by 6. Mm -hmm. Then our number 2, I'm putting it here. We are going to share 9 streets equally. Among three boys. So that is our activity. I want you to try out those simple numbers and then we shall continue from there next time. I've told you that this time we've used this sign. Next time I'm going to give you another sign that we use in division. Thank you for being good children. Please endeavor to do this simple work I've given you and please do do some work with a friend. Practice then after show to mommy or daddy to see whether what you've done is correct. Thank you for being good children. But don't forget that zero divided by any number is always going to be zero. If you have one word and you're dividing it between two people, each one is going to get a half. Still, if you have one word and you're dividing it, let's say, among four people, each one is going to get a quarter. Thank you for being good children. See you next time. Bye.